Pathway to Excellence is an American program that helps leaders to create the very best practice environments for nurses, midwives, AHPs and other clinical colleagues to practice in so that patients ultimately get the very best care. We'll be doing this across all of our sites, so across Newark, Kingsmill and Mansfield Community Hospital and we'll be learning um, from colleagues at Nottingham University Hospitals who were designated last year. Pathway to Excellence organisations recognise the importance of staff orientation, collaboration and development in the delivery of safe and effective patient care. The foundation for developing competent and collaborative staff begins with a comprehensive orientation that includes individualisation of learning needs and clinical experiences to allow smooth transition into practice with support and guidance of mentors, preceptors or other nursing experts. Pathway to Excellence organisations value and recognise the importance of lifelong learning, ongoing education and professional development and they also focus on the emerging nurse leader and succession planning. It's hugely important to us as an organisation because what we found is it really supports recruitment and retention. By providing professional development opportunities for all our workforce, we get the best from our staff uh, and it allows them to have skills to be able to progress through their careers. Ways in which we do this are through clinical leadership programmes. We have a really vast catalogue of e-learning programmes as well. We do this through our appraisal systems. We offer a multitude of ways in which people can develop what, their time at Sherwood. We also offer career pathways as well, where it's a very clear pipeline of progression um, from the start of their career up to senior levels within that career. And we offer those for nursing, midwifery and AHPs as well. So I think one of the um, ones that's really good to showcase is preceptorship. So we offer this particularly within nursing and midwifery, and I know there's plans underway to look at how we can develop that within AHPs. So it's a 22-week programme for our newly qualified staff and it helps them during that transition period through a range of focus days, focus support and competency-based portfolio. I think the second example is um, some really good work that we're doing at the moment around apprenticeships. So we've got apprenticeship nurses within the organisation. We have apprenticeship training nurse associates. Apprenticeships are really good because it helps people who are new to the profession get into the, the NHS world. I mean, it gives them work-based assessments and clinical support, as well as that academic structure. I think it's all about engaging um, with the process and understanding what pro professional development means to you and what professional development means to the organisation. And we do it in so many different ways, and it's just about having an awareness of how you're, you as yourself have developed because that will all provide us with evidence for the accreditation process. Mm -hmm.